All right, before moving into our distributed property um, with our variables, because last time we did distributed property without the variables, we need to learn how to multiply variables together. And what I've done here is I've given you some examples or maybe some patterns to follow here as far as if you multiply uh, some variables together. It's really not that difficult, but the difficult part is understanding the difference between multiplying them together and what happens. And then over here in this column, I put what we did before uh, a while back where we combined things together, which, go to, which went together. Um, so let's look at this column right here and see if we can find some kind of a patterns here. Uh, if I just do 3 times x, okay, remember we can always stick a 1 in front of that. So 3 times 1 is 3, uh, and then we just keep the x on the end of it if we're multiplying. Uh, same thing here, 4 times 2x. 4 times 2 is 8, and then we just keep the x on the end of it because that's our label when we're multiplying. Now, down on this example, we've got 6x times 3x. Uh, 6 times 3 is 18. x times x. Okay. Remember, if we had x plus x, we'd put the 1 in front of it. We would say that was 2x. That's not what we're doing here. We're doing like exponents. x times x is the same thing as x to the second power. So this one we would say 18x to the second power. The next one, we've got 2x times 4y. Um, so all we do is 2 times 4 is 8. And then times x times y, we just put that at the end. And remember, if we because we can't do like x times y, that doesn't make an exponent because they're not the same uh, variable. But we can just put them at the end. Uh, and, you know, you've seen this before. This reads 8 times x times y. If they're all right beside each other, just like they are up here, that's multiplication. Uh, and then down here, 4x to the third power times 5x. Well, 4 times 5 is 20. And then we got to think about this a little bit. I mean, this should make sense, but if we have x to the third power, that's the same thing as x times x times x. Now, we're multiplying another x here. So all together, this is going to be x to the fourth power, which is what I wrote right here. So 4x to the third power times 5x is 20x to the fourth power. Now, over here in this column, I just showed you what would these problems look like if we were combining them together? And if you notice, most of them we couldn't combine together. Remember, we can't combine 3 plus x. We can't combine those together. We can't combine 4 plus x. We can't combine 2x and 4y. We haven't been able to do that. We can't combine 4x to the third power plus 5x because they don't have the same label at the end of them. The only one on here that we could have combined if we would have added would be the 6x plus 3x because 6x plus 3x is 9. So the most difficult part about this, I think, is going to be keeping things separated. What do you do when you multiply? What do you do when you combine? Uh, throughout this process, I'm just going to give you about four screens worth here, and then I, we're going to call it good and see how that turns out. Uh, if you would like to you know, try these out first, and pause the video and see if you can catch on to a pattern, uh, feel free to do that or you can just follow along with me. Um, for this first one, we're multiplying, we're not combining, we're multiplying. So 4 times 3 is 12. So now I have x times 5x, and we already talked about if I expanded that out, I would have x times x times x times x times x times another x would be x to the sixth power. If I come down here, 5y times 2 uh, is just going to be 10y. Remember, if this was combining, we wouldn't be able to put those together. But since it's multiplying, we can multiply them together. Uh, down here, 6x times negative 3y. 6 times 3 is negative 18. Uh, and then x times y is just, we just put it at the end, x times y, just how it looks. And then the last one down at the bottom here, we've got 10 times z. Remember, that's the same thing as just 1z. 10 times 1 would be 10. And then we just put the z at the end because we're multiplying. Next screen. Again, if you want to pause this and try these on your own, 
Uh, and I'm hoping by now you're kind of recognizing a pattern. Um, you know, but pause it if you want to and try it. If not, just follow along with me here. We're doing a couple of different ones here, but it isn't any different. So if I have 4x times 3x times y, okay, 4 times 3 times 2, that's 12 times 2 is 24. My number is going to be 24. Now, x times x we know is x to the second power, but then we have times y, and we can just put that at the end. Down here, remember, if we don't have any numbers, I could just put the ones in front of it. All the ones together would just be one, which we don't really even need to list. We, I mean, it's not zero, but it's one. Um, we don't need to list a one in front of any variables because you automatically assume it's one. Now we have to multiply the variables together. So if I expanded this out, there's that x. There's three of them. x times x times x. There's an x. There's two of them. Times x times x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 x's all together. So the answer to this question is going to be x to the 7th power. Remember, when we're multiplying together, that's exponents. It's not adding. Uh, and then if I want to put that 1 in front of it, I can, but I don't need to. The last one. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. Times 1 is still 48. And then x times x is x to the second power. And while you're going through this, and I know this, I, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this, but I think if I show you it all at one time, uh, you can try to separate out what's going on here. But if you have questions, make sure you let me know. All right, now, here's a little bit different. What I've done here is, I've put these in parentheses, and I've put the multiplication problems in parentheses to do those first, then I want to see if you can combine them together, if you understand what can be combined together, which I think you can. Uh, so again, if you want to try these and you want to multiply out uh, what's in parentheses first and then see what will go together, um, feel free to do that or you can follow along with me. Um, so underneath here, I'm just going to put the answers to the multiplication parts of these. 3 times z is just 3z. Uh, 2z times 4 is just 8z, and then 6 times z is just 6z. Now, if I go to combine these together, positive 3z, uh, positive 8z, positive 6z, they all end with that same label, so I should be able to add them all together. Uh, 3z plus 8z plus 6z would be, that's 14 15, 16, my final answer for this one is going to be, oops, that probably won't show up on there. Uh, my final answer for this one is going to be 17z. I multiplied these all out and got these, and then I could combine them all together because they all ended with the same label or the same variable. Now, if we go down to the next one, uh, 4z times y is just going to be 4zy. Uh, 2z times 2y is going to be 4zy, that's a z, and then 3x times 7 is just 21x. Now, if we're adding these together, they're all positive. I didn't use many negatives here. Maybe I should have done that, but it's not any different. Uh, maybe I'll change one of the problems here. Uh, here's what I have if I'm combining things together. Now, these two will go together because they both end in zy or I could have done I mean it it doesn't matter which way that they go I could have ended them in y z and they're still the same because that's z times y and y times z that would be the same thing but I'll put it back to how it was just to lessen the confusion so 4zy plus 4zy is going to be 8zy because we're just combining things together now I can't combine this 21x with 8zy, so we just have to add it on to the end. So we have 8zy plus 21x. That would be my final answer to that problem. And then when I come down here to the last one, 5z to the second times 2z. That's going to be 10z to the 2 third power. Because if I expanded that out, that would be z times z times z, which would be z to the third power. 
uh, when I come over here, I've got 6z times 2z to the third. So that's going to be 12z to the 1, 2, 3, fourth power. And if it helps you to think about these single z's right here as z to the first power, that's something you can insert that little one after it. Like this would have been x to the first power, z to the first power, z to the, because we only have one of them, so it's z to the first power would be just fine. Okay, if that helps you out. Uh, and then down here, I've got, let's see, 4z times z to the second power. I put my little one in front of there. Well, that's not a very good one. Uh, 4 times 1 is 4, and then it's going to be 4z to the 1, 2, third power. So now when I look to combine these together, they're all positive. When I look to combine these together, it uh, looks like I have z to the third, and I have z to, or 10z to the third, 4z to the third. Those will go together for sure. Those will go together to make 14 z to the third power because they both have the same label at the bottom. Now my last one's kind of the oddball because I can't put it with anything. So it's going to be 14 z to the third power plus 12 z to the fourth. Those don't combine together because that ends in z to the third. That ends in z to the fourth. Again, it's hard I think to keep track of what you do when you multiply and what you do when you add. But I think you'll be able to figure it out uh, if you just try to keep the things separated. Alright, this last set, I definitely want you to try to pause the video and do this on your own here. And see what you come up with and if you have questions make sure you let me know. So pause it, see how you do. Alright, let's check up and see how you did here. We're multiplying here. 2 times 3 times 2, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. That's 12x 12 to the x times x times x would be x to the third power would be my answer there. For this one, um, all would have 1's in front of them, so it's going to be 1. Uh, I can put the 1, I don't have to put the 1. And then it's going to be x times y times x times x times y. Uh, well, x times x times x is going to be x to the third power. y times y is going to be y to the second power. I could put the little dot in between for times. Remember, if we put them right beside each other, it's multiplication anyways, and you won't see that dot in front of it, so we'll just get used to writing it this way. Down here, multiplication 4 times 2 times 5. 4 times 2 is 8 times 5 is going to be 40. And then all we have is the x to the third power. And the last one we can multiply and then combine together. Uh, 6x times 4 is going to be 24x. Um, 2 times 6x is going to be 12x. If we add those together, they both have the same labels, so we can add them together. 24 plus 12, 24x plus 12x is going to be 36 x. That would be my final answer for that one if I combine them together. Now if I change this a little bit, let's say I went back to this problem and I made this 2 times 6x to the second power. So this would be 12x to the second power. Now my final answer if I change that problem would not be this, it would actually be this. Because I could not combine those two things together. This ends in x, this ends to in the second power.